Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. We are currently at Cyclops Reef. Taking out the, the ship dude. And dealing with some cannons. I'm actually going to show you where this is on the sea chart right here. Just so you can find it easily. Alright, so. What we need to do here. Is basically take out all the cannons. And yeah, if you're looking to do any kind of completion run of this game, then what we're doing right now, hang on, I'm against the wind here, That's, this is no good. If you're looking to do any kind of completion run of this game, then the items that we're about to get, they're going to be um, of use to you, you know? We're basically going to collect a bunch of sea charts, and those sea charts are gonna lead to very helpful items right get this guy yeah it's probably gonna be a lot of random cuts in this video too just because this is gonna get long and it's also um, kind of repetitive because um yeah we're heading to the six reefs obviously starting at Cyclops Reef making our way to two eyed reef, three eyed reef and so on till we get to the six eyed reef and then yeah there's two other places that we need to go to get two other items after we're done doing that but yeah each of the six reefs you just do the same thing for each one you just go you take out all the cannons and completely miss like that there we go alright that was not the last guy there are more cannons about cannon things where are you cannon things yeah you'll know when you've taken them all uh, there, there he is I think this is the last one over here lucky shot there we go and we get a treasure chest for that yeah that's uh basically in the center of the island but to get up to that you need to damn it I'm against the wind always against the wind here actually I'm gonna leave the boat here because it's gonna make it easier to get to the boat later and just swim over there yeah it's probably the best thing to do alright so yeah to get to that center island we have to actually make our way damn it, no no get up there we actually have to make a way around this thing and get to the highest point basically which yeah I thought so was right on the opposite side yeah it's probably gonna take a while to get right over that get into the highest point the highest point of joy <coughs> alright yeah that actually took ages to do <laughs> to get to the highest point over here but the wind's already blowing in, in the right direction so we're good we're good let's get this treasure chest what do we get 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 and we get a treasure chart yep yeah. alright cool yeah we picked up plenty of these already but yeah like I said these are not to pieces of hearts or to treasure charts so Let's get back to the Red Lion. And uh, yeah, I'm actually going to show you right now. Because I do believe this first one. No, not the inventory screen. Um, Where is it? Alright, it should be this one because all of my other treasure charts are opened up. Yeah, it's on Cyclops Reef. This is the only treasure chart that we're going to be picking up that appears right where we are though. So... Oh, the ring of light's not actually appearing. There's no ring of light. Usually, when you open these up, you get, like, cool rings of lights. But, yeah, you can use your treasure chart like this to find out where you are. And just try and get as close to that X as possible. So, it's, like, slightly down this way. Probably around about here. Maybe. Yes. And um, we'll find out what that treasure chart was a treasure chart too, right here. 
I saw two treasure chests, uh, two treasure chests gone pretty quickly. Um, we now have the, ah, we now have the ring light chart. So yeah, it was a treasure chart to another type of chart. Alright, our next stop, to Wide Reef. See you when we get there. Okay, I've just walked to a southern fairy island because I'm on my way to Two Wide Reef. I just wanted to show you something. Yeah, there's a ring of light right over here. This is what they actually look like because I just wanted to show you since uh, I run into one. Um, I'm actually curious to what this one is, so we'll find out what it is. And that's not where it is. Right, maybe here. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, th that's what those rings of light look like when you're out searching for them. And um, we get a piece of heart for doing that. Cool. We've collected two pieces. Get two more to complete another heart container. Alright, see you when we get to Two Eyed Reef. Alright, we're at Two Eyed Reef. Let's take out some more of these cannons. Yeah, like I said, we just do the exact same thing for all six of these reefs that we had to. Yeah, I'm going to show you where it is on the map again. It's just below uh, Southern Ferry Island where we just were. So, yeah. Um, I think there's one more thing I want to do after collecting these eight charts that we're going to be collecting right now. I think there's one more side quest I want to do to get a heart piece. Before um, I get on to montaging. Because like I said, I'm going to montage all of the easy to get heart pieces. And uh, whilst I'm doing that, if there are any particularly hard to get um, heart pieces. Or any that I feel need explaining. Then, oh, we got that treasure chest pretty quickly. Yeah, if there are any uh, difficult to get heart pieces or any heart pieces that I feel need explaining then I leave them and I'll get back to them I'll actually record them with live commentary alright so we just do the si exact same thing again get up to the side make our way to the highest point and get to the treasure chest oh the highest point is actually right here but it looks like we're gonna need to change the wind's direction to get over there maybe or not, because it's actually, uh... You only need to change the wind, really, if it's blowing against you. But if it's blowing to the side, you're going to be okay. Alright. Treasure chest number two. Um, yeah, um... I'm probably going to get... Uh, the rest of the charts, because uh, this one isn't going to appear on to Wide Reef. I'm probably going to get the rest of the charts in a separate recording and just edit them in somehow. So, you're probably going to see an edit to that right now. Alright, 3 Eyed Reef. This is where it is on the C chart. We got uh, more of these guys to take out. Uh, this is probably going to be the last full run I do of this. Next time I'll probably just take out the last cannon. Show you that. And yeah. This will get done a lot faster. Yeah, those warships that you take out with bombs. Actually, sometimes uh, you can take the... When you take those out, you can actually get treasure from doing it. It's usually just rupees though, so it's nothing too important. But yeah, you can get treasures from actually uh, taking them out. Provided that the rings of light do actually appear when you take them out. Alright, it's getting uh, night time. Right about now. So we've got a cool sunset. Alright, that's three of the cannons. Where are the rest of the cannons? I actually seem to be less on uh, this one and that two wide reef than they were at Cyclops Reef. Like the first one had the most cannons. Take out this one over here. Alright, take you out. 
Oh no, there's still more. Where's this guy? Well, I just saw the explosion over there, so it has to be facing that way. Um, oh. It couldn't have been that one. How the hell would that one aim to all the way over there? Oh, it was that one. Okay. How did that cannon get to that wall on the opposite side there? Whatever. Let's get to the treasure chest. And yeah, we'll do the same thing again. Alright, get to the highest point and deco leaf. Yeah, this one was a... Uh, Actually, this was the longest track so far. We had to go right around this area. Alright, next sea chart. Next sea chart of awesomeness. Okay, cool. See you at the next reef. Oh, hey, it's random submarine dudes. Hey, random submarine dudes. Yeah. Bitey fine boat you got there, bub. You must be researching for the treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? <laughs> ha ha ha. You won't get any from us, bub. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around on a fishless sea? I'll tell you who, bub. Only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves. And maybe some other things that I've never heard of. <laughs> you know, with all the weak island dwellers who never leave the shores, I'm amazed to see such a tiny little... A <laughs> tiny little guy out there. I like your style, bub. I feel I've known you for my whole life. I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub, tell you what. As one treasure hunter to another, I'll give you this. You'll definitely be needing it if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I won't take nay, nope, or nah. Just grab it. Oh, cool. What do we get? Oh, and they give us a treasure chart. Cool. <laughs> I didn't even know that, that these guys were going to give us. All right, Four-Eyed Reef. This is where it is on the map. And I think we just got this guy to uh, take out. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Next, treasure chest. I actually have no idea um, which types of charts we got so far from doing this. I still need to fish them out. We're actually running pretty low on bombs here. And um, we're running low on magic. So, I don't know. We might have to restock at some point. Alright. Let's get to the highest point again. Actually, uh, yeah, this looks good right here. Change the wind's direction to the direction we need it blowing. Actually, when you change the wind's direction, you can just face div in the direction you need to blow in. And, uh, yeah, when it goes overhead, you can see where you need the wind uh, to be blowing. No, I wanted to use a deco leaf. Alright, crap. Oh, no. Wait, we're not going to be able to get it from here, are we? No, I didn't think so. Alright, I'll add it to the highest point. Alright, this should be good right here. Hopefully we can get it. Maybe. I should have changed the wind's direction. Yeah. And I'm out of magic. Great. Okay, let's actually try it like this. This one's actually been quite difficult to get. Alright, there. No! No! Why are you doing this to me? Yeah, this is actually taking longer than I think it needs to be taken. Let's actually get... Yes! Yes! We finally got the treasure... That took way too long. Oh my god. Well, we finally got it. Treasure chart number four. Alright, I'll see you at Five-Eyed Reef. Alright, so we just got two more reefs to check out. Uh, this is Five-Eyed Reef. This is where it is on the map. And we got these two cannons to dig out. Two with one shot. Alright. Okay, well the highest point actually looks right here. It's uh, actually 
not too far from where we started. I'm actually gonna try it from here, see if we can get to it. I mean, it beats having to go, like, the long way around. Yeah, there we go. Treasure chart number five. We just got one more left to get. Alright, here we are at Six Side Reef. The final reef that we need to be at. And that was not the final cannon. The final cannon is this one down here. <laughs> I thought that was the final one. I was mistaken. Oh. There we go, treasure chest number six. Alright, let's get to it. Actually, this last one looks uh, pretty easy to get to. We didn't actually have to go all that far. Yeah. Wow, that was easy. <laughs> Alright, and this will be treasure chart number six. Alright, that's probably all I'm going to do for now. I did want to get uh, the, all eight of the treasure charts, but uh, this is actually taking longer than I thought it would take because we're almost up to an hour now. So next time, possibly, we'll get the other two treasure charts or maybe we'll do the Korok side quest in the Forest Haven. I will see you then. Bye-bye.